hey guys welcome back in this video i will talk about uh, the fixed point uh, uh, multiplication so in that uh, i will mainly talk about the saturation block i will take a suitable example uh, to showcase uh, that there is a saturation uh, for a particular q format and uh, when there is a saturation um, uh, you know uh, whether it is good to do saturation or not if, if there is a saturation then uh, what is the problem okay so we will see all these things so in the previous videos i was talking about uh, uh, the multiplication uh, considering q 1.0.15 format uh, so today uh, we will take a different format and we will try to see you know how that uh, works so i will take the number uh, let's say 1.42 uh, okay so since for the sake of simplicity i will take the same number uh, 1.42 uh, so i need to multiply these two things let us see okay uh, what 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 is the result of this number so 1.42 into 1.42 i gonna get okay 2.0164 so as i was telling uh, last time um, you know Mm, these numbers fall under the range of plus 1.99 till minus 2 right so um, q 1.1.14 will be suitable okay so i will go with this format right now to do the multiplication so considering that uh, you know what is my a let's say if i convert 1.42 then if it is q14 format i have to multiply by 2 to the power of 14 then at the end i will multiply by uh, 0 0.5 all right then i will get it as 23265 so now we know b is also same number okay so i will take uh, the result result is equal to uh, a into b okay so what is a into b 23265 into 23265 I am going to get 541260 double to 5 right now what are the other operations which we are supposed to do one is rounding right so how are we supposed to do rounding since this is a q14 format the result should be added with 2 to the power of 13 right okay 0.5 how do you represent um, 2 to the power of 13 divided by 2 to the power of 14 if you are in q14 format so then what is the answer so plus 2 to the power of 13 so my answer is 5412684178 right now i need to check the saturation for this right so i will i will write here okay so so that everything will be in one particular slide itself 54126 so then next what is the um, result is equal to result you know right shift by 14 bits because we are in q4 for format 14 so these when these two are multiplied it will be the fractional uh, we will have 28 uh, bits so we will drop the last 14 so that we will finally get the answering q1.1.14 so what is the result so right shift by 14 means i have to basically divide by 14 right this will be double three zero three six this is the result so finally since i am going to so you take in 16 out of 40 okay here i have not written all the uh, you know uh, all the um, um, uh, data types but um, in the previous videos i have already mentioned so i am directly taking those values so z is equal to uh, in 16 underscore t of result right so how to convert uh, this into float let's say float of i, I will have float um, zf is equal to um, three zero sorry double three zero three six divided by two to the power of fourteen so if i do that i am uh, supposed to get two 
पॉइंट जीरो वन सिक्स थ्री फाइव सेवन राइट ओके बट आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग दिस ऑपरेशन वॉट इज दैट वी नीड टू डू टू फिट इन टू सिक्सटीन बिट्स एक्चुअली वी नीड टू परफॉर्म द सैचुरेशन राइट सो वट इज हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू डू सैचुरेशन this is this is this is not fitting into 16 bits so saturation logic we have already seen uh, so if the number is uh, uh, greater than if uh, uh, you know result is uh, greater than um, 3 to uh, so um, 3 to 7 6 7 then we need to retain this number okay i am not going to read other logics uh, it is mentioned in the previous video so right now this will be uh, truncated and uh, this will be stored 32767 okay now if i divide this 32767 divided by 2 to the power of 14 then i am going to get the maximum value plus 1 plus 1.99993 and this is the maximum value of this q format right okay so i am supposed to get 2.01 but uh, i got plus 1.99 we have a huge loss here right so there are cases when you multiply two numbers uh, there can be saturation and this is one of the examples in this case if we try to retain the same q format then we will have uh, we will have to live with uh, a huge loss so your snr might go down right but this is not a good idea so we will we should always try to avoid the saturation and now let us see how we can avoid the saturation so how we can avoid if we can see this number 2.0164 this is not fitting in this one but this can fit in q1.2.13 right so rather than uh, you know uh, finally placing uh, the number in q14 format you try to place it in q13 format how to do that okay finally we had result result is equal to i will come here come to this point 541268 541268 then 417 417 right so now i want result is equal to result um So result right here by thirty. Now actually this will be what uh, as I was telling fractional part we have twenty twenty eight uh, bits right. So because we have multiplied uh, uh, fractional part fourteen into fractional part fourteen so twenty eight but we need uh, uh, fractional part just thirteen, which means that I have to write it by fifteen right. In this if I write it by fifteen I'll get thirteen. So This has to be um, right shift by fifteen. So if I right shift by fifteen, what is my answer? So five four one two six eight four one seven. You will be to the power of fifteen. So now I will get one six five one eight. Right. Now this number. Now we know that uh, we are finally going to store it in one dot two dot thirteen. So what is the saturation logic? Uh, if uh, result is uh, uh, greater than uh, um, two to the power of thirteen, so what is the uh, uh, value of two to the power of uh, sorry two to the power of uh, two to the power of thirteen? Okay. So uh, if it is greater than more than sixteen bits, okay, three two seven six. Seven. Then you have to um, truncate and keep it three two seven seven six seven, right? Um, then else if you have to take care of the negative part. I am not writing here. Else then uh, then uh, you have to uh, store the result. Okay. Um, result will be um, so. If you can take else, uh, then uh, you know int. Um, okay. In in the else part, you will you will retain the same thing, right? You will retain the same thing. 
so finally i will say you know i am going to place uh, this in uh, some z uh, in this case uh, in 16 underscore t of uh, result so this z will be 16518 uh, there is no truncation or nothing it is fair it is uh, well within the well within the 16 bit uh, range and now this is we know that this is in this particular format to get into float okay float zf so i need to divide this number 16518 by 2 to the power of 13 because we are in q13 format right so then my answer is 2.016 3 5 7 4 2 2 I got my number whatever uh, so if you see here it is 2.0164 there is some precision because yeah, you can you can see in the beginning while doing the conversion from flow to fix okay this number uh, here it didn't exceed and it, it didn't become 23266 right there is a loss here and that's why it is carried carried uh, and uh, we see some particular loss uh, in the result as well. So I hope you got the clarity. So the final conclusion is that, uh, you know, if there is a saturation in the system um, and if you don't want to uh, lose uh, your SNR or if you don't want to lose some information, then definitely you have to, you have to uh, consider, uh, um, you know, representing the final number in a different Q format. And you should know that and, and in when you are writing the code after each and every block or after each and every operation you should know what is the queue format that the result is stored in because that will be helpful for further operations right. So usually we can place a comment uh, after some particular operation that hey, now the result is in queue 1.2.13 format and for your further, further operations you can consider this as the input right. So, but there are certain uh, cases uh, when, you know, uh, people would consider uh, uh, going for saturation. Um, I would say that is not a good idea, especially in case of communication uh, system. So, this is how the procedure uh, will happen when uh, we write a code for uh, um, DSP chip. Okay. I hope you got the clarity. Thank you very much. Have a great day. If you are looking for more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.